Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tony Hines. I'm the commercial director for Aurelia Turbines. Uh, we're here looking for strategic investors and strategic partners. But for, let me just give you a quick overview of who we are. Put very simply, at electrical efficiency, over 40%, 40%, we have the highest efficiency of any gas turbine in our size. That means lower operating costs and lower cost of ownership for the end user. We also run on multiple fuels, and we also have low emissions. The technology is linked to the Lappanranta University of Technology in Finland. Now, they have been commercializing high-speed rotating machinery um, for over 30 years. So a lot of the components that we use are already being used in different products such as pumps and other turbines. We have a wide uh, portfolio of IP, IP, and we also have actually now started to take orders. The 1.6 that I'm showing here has just been increased just over to 2 million, with customers willing to uh, be the, the first in the field to take it. So why did we do it? Well, we see <clears throat> a global demand in the industrial process market, the SMEs, who are doing batch processing for dairies, for um, making foodstuffs, uh, building materials, where they're under cost pressures to get their operating costs down to be more competitive, or there's a drive through uh, d local directives or national directives, federal directives, to actually be more energy efficient, or it's a corporate initiative. Also, emissions are now beginning to play a much bigger part in, a, in an operator's uh, choice of equipment. And then there's just the distributed generation attraction of having power security and, and security of supply. So what solutions are there out there? Well, if you look at the industrial turbines, the gas engines, they're either low on efficiency and therefore high on operating cost, or their emissions are not meeting regulations, so they're restricted on how many hours they can operate. Microturbines, ones that are sort of 200 kilowatts and below, don't hit those efficiency figures, and they don't have adequate heat. So we believe that the difference that we've got is actually not just the efficiency, not just the low emissions across a range of different uh, uh, pollutants, but also the modular design that we've got coupled with this fuel flexibility, being able to use biogases, syngas, as well as natural gas or, or oil. All of those coupled with, we have no lubricants inside the system. We use magnetic bearings. So you've got no contaminants, you've got longer availability, and also a much greener product. So really, what does efficiency mean? Well, if you just look at that figure of 40% on the primary fruit, uh, 40% saving on the primary fuel that's going in there, that in itself, to an operator who's struggling with lighting, with energy efficiency gains, is enough to get their att attention. So where do we fit against other uh, technologies and products? The green target there is where we're at. And you can see that there are other products that are in the range but maybe they're not, their emission levels are higher or their operating costs are lower. The blue dot is our next generation, the one megawatt system, where you can see that we've made a great strive in getting up to over, just over 45%. Again, enhancing the operating costs for the, for the end user. How are we going to sell this? And this is, comes back to my original point. We, we have to sell as if it's a local market. So we need partners. We can't do it all ourselves. And we have an integrator model, or an OEM type uh, variation, where we're allowing these distribution partners to actually package the system, to actually integrate, add value locally, so they can get the permitting, they can actually get the certification, and then they can build their market and actually get a lot more value, which is quite unique. So, how can we do this with very few operating hours? Because we're focused on the core turbine. We're using proven components for the balance of equipment. Is the market big? Well, just look at these numbers here that are up there in the number of hour units. 
I won't go through each one, but it is a significant opportunity. The team, the management team, if you look at the corporations that are up there listed and add those years of experience, there's blue chip companies bringing together processes of experience and over 100 years of, of talent there. So we're looking for strategic investors. We're going through a financing round. We're trying to raise about three million and we'd be happy to talk to anybody that can invest or help us get to market. Thank you very much.